assalamu alaikum dear friends i'm sajid ali now we explain the topic shimla deputation so it was a group of people who went to a viceroy for their demands for the demands of muslims on october 1st october 1906 so dear friends muslim leaders met at a platform and decided to discuss their problems at a constitutional level and they wanted to get their uh, rights and uh, they also wanted to solve their basic problems in subcontinent the group of people they were 35 35 muslim leaders met under the leadership of saraga khan went to viceroy whose name was lord mintu under the leadership of sir aga khan they went there at the viceroy lord minto to discuss their problems and get some basic rights from the british government their agendas were as under these are their agendas so first of all they demanded separate electorate for muslims according to separate electorate muslims could elect their representatives and uh, their representatives only muslims in india subcontinent in this way they demanded separate electorate for muslims because muslims were in minority in india that's why they were under the dominancy of hindus and uh, muslims realized their dominancy and they realized about their rights basic rights and their problems in this way they went to viceroy lord minto to solve their problems and the first agenda was the proposal of shimla deputation was separate electorate its second was gazetted jobs for muslims muslims were to some extent in gazetted jobs in uh, high ranking officers in this way they demanded generally as hindus got gazetted jobs high ranking jobs as uh, muslims should give this right in this way this is a second agenda of shimla deputation muslim representation in executive council as i discussed with you the british constitutional reforms legislative control of british so many hindus <coughs> were in executive council it was the council of governor general they were in uh, legislation so muslims were not in the executive council that's why they demanded their rights for the executive council muslims should be in executive councils according to their population so dear friends in this way they also demanded help from government from viceroy lord minto to upgrade the college mao college aligarh mao college it was college they demanded to upgrade it into a university and uh, they also demanded uh, funding and some other help to promote 
from college to university because it was a single a great institute for muslims where muslims could get quality education that's why they uh, demanded to promote it into the university level so dear friends in this way shimla deputation uh, presented their proposal before viceroy lord mento so and a sayed allah dad sayed allah dad was from sindh mia shafi was from punjab and mohsinul mulk was from up these were also the member of shimla deputation but sir aga khan was leader of all these members there were 35 members in shimla deputation who uh, went together at viceroy to accept their demands for the muslims of subcontinent india so dear friends in this way we discuss shimla deputation and uh, it was the first step of muslims towards the constitutional platform where muslims discuss their problems at a constitutional level at upper level so dear friends this is a first step where muslims presented their separate electorate demand it was the base of pakistan movement it was also the base of pakistan establishment the creation of pakistan that's why we can say this is a, a great and a successful step of muslim leaders in subcontinent for the muslims so dear friends inshallah we will discuss in my next lecture about muslim league a muslim political party so thank you very much take care allah hafiz